Understanding Underwater Survey Dive into the meaning. Hello everyone, today, we're diving deep into the English language to explore a fascinating phrase, underwater survey. This term might sound complex at first, but don't worry, we're here to break it down for you. Whether you're an English learner or just curious about this phrase, you're in the right place. Underwater survey is a compound noun, meaning it's made up of two words that work together to create a specific meaning. Let's look at each word separately. Underwater refers to something being below the surface of the water. It's an adjective describing where the action takes place. Survey is a noun that means a detailed examination or inspection of something. When combined, these words describe a detailed examination conducted below the water's surface. It's commonly used in contexts like oceanography, archaeology, and environmental studies. To understand how underwater survey is used, let's see some examples. 1. Oceanographers conducting an underwater survey to map the ocean floor. 2. Archaeologists performing an underwater survey to find sunken artifacts. 3. Environmentalists doing an underwater survey to assess coral reef health. In each of these examples, the phrase is used to describe a thorough examination or study conducted underwater. Understanding phrases like underwater survey is crucial for several reasons. It enriches your vocabulary, especially if you're interested in fields like marine biology or archaeology. It helps in comprehending news or academic articles related to underwater research. It enhances your overall understanding of the English language, as you learn how compound nouns work. I hope this exploration of the phrase, underwater survey, has been enlightening and enjoyable. Remember, every phrase you learn adds depth to your language skills, just like every survey adds knowledge to our understanding of the underwater world. Keep diving into English, and you'll keep discovering new treasures. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next linguistic adventure.